routing with the Composition API works the same as the Options one. The only difference is how we get the router reference and how we get the current routes information. For this lesson's examples, we'll use a similar setup as the one we ended the Options routing lesson with. You'll need a basic view app with the router package installed. As an aside, you can grab the code examples in the written version of this lesson, linked in the description below. To keep things simple, we'll have all the routes in the main.js file, and the functionality will be split up into four components. The HomeView component has a template block with an H2 element to help us identify the page. The users view component stores an array of users in a ref. In the template, it loops over each user and outputs a router link with the user's ID as a prop. The user single view component specifies the ID prop that it gets from users view and then outputs it in the template. The root app component will link to the pages and include forward and back functionality. And finally, the main.js file has lazy loaded routes to all the views. If we run the example in the browser, we can navigate around the app and load all the pages. When we refer to the router in the options API, we use the special router instance variable. But, because this doesn't refer to the object instance in the composition API, we need to find a different way. To get the reference, the router package gives us the use router method that we import and assign to a constant in the setup option. Once we have the reference, we can replace all instance variables with it. If we run the example in the browser, everything still works as before. We can also use the reference inside the setup option. For example, let's create intermediary functions that use the router's push and go methods. Then, we'll replace them in the template with our new ones. The example's a bit silly, but it serves as a good demonstration. In real-world applications, we mostly redirect from forms this way. We can also get information about the current route we're on by using the router reference. For example, the user single view gets the ID prop from a root parameter and renders it in the template. We can replace the prop by getting the ID from the root.params object. If we run the example in the browser and navigate to any of the users, it still shows the right one. Alright, that's it for routing. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to use Vuex with the Composition API. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next one.